We are with uh, Philip Dorsewitz, uh, professor of philosophy at the American University of Raz Hema in the United Arab Emirates, one of participants of the Philosophy Summit of G7 2024 last days and one of the signatories of the Declaration of Barletta. What was, Philip, the subject of this G7 philosophy? Buongiorno. Unfortunately, I cannot speak in Italian, but I would like to say it was a wonderful time that I experienced here. It was very hard work. Uh, we had this uh, meeting in Barletta, uh, talking about the present state of philosophy and how philosophy can make leave its mark in contemporary society and politics. Um, and we focused on one particular topic. The topic was how we can bridge the gaps between continents and societies and different Weltanschauung, different belief systems. Um, and we found that it's very important in our time to focus on, uh, uh, we use the, the framing of the word conviviality. Convivialità, <laughs> sorry, convivialità, uh, Italian, half German. Uh, the idea is that uh, we have to somehow come together, and this is a topic that has been slightly under been underdeveloped in uh, philosophy and the humanities, and also in politics, uh, unfortunately forgotten, uh, that it is important to compare what we have, that we should not start with, uh, with systems of belief and systems of norms that pertain universally, um, uh, but we have to communicate and, and look at the differences that hold between us and learn how to communicate uh, across these. And uh, then never to forget that it's also a great pleasure to do so. It is not only an important task to uh, to generate understanding and generate peace in a time that has many wars and many conflicts that are absolutely avoidable. Uh, but that it's really important to see that we can also enjoy each other's companies across continents, across vast cultural divides. And it's not only an internal European uh, question, but one that includes Africa, that includes Asia, that includes the Arab nations, and uh, that in includes rifts that we perceive sometimes as unbridgeable. And in our discipline in the humanities and in philosophy, it's very important to, to be trendsetters rather than lagging behind. So we need to uh, take more serious different systems of belief, different forms of philosophy, different ways of thinking. And that is something that I uh, take myself from this, from this experience. And then I had this rare chance of seeing the surrounding of Paleto. And I visited Castel del Monte and I vi visited other little cities ar around, um, Trani for example. And I have a beautiful, beautiful time. And it was not only a touristic experience, I also saw that a lot of seeds that we have, uh, of ideas that we have worked with in this conference were actually laid here. So when I visited the Castel del Monte, for example, uh -huh. uh, you could breathe the spirit of a person, uh, of Federico Secondo, who was much, much more willing than many people today to engage other cultures. There's different interpretations of uh, Federico Secondo, but one thing that I think is undeniable is that he was able to speak and to generate understanding between us and the Muslim world, or us, not us now, it's many, many uh, thousand years ago. So that uh, to, to, to generate this understanding and to take a step forward um, to appreciate the manifold that humanity and human culture comes in. And that is something that I've seen in many, many places here. And uh, for that, it was a very enriching experience personally for myself. And I'm carrying this to the United Arab world, where I'm also a stranger, but uh, where I facilitate this kind of understanding. That's my, my aim. Thank you so much. I think uh, that you like this uh, area, this territory. I wish you come back again uh, in uh, Trani, Castel del Monte. Uh, we hope uh, to, to meet you again.
Okay. You can be absolutely sure that I will take any opportunity to come back here. Okay. I have so many positive experiences in this place. <laughs> And uh, it's not my first time actually. I was here 30 years ago as a very young, oh. as a very young person. I, I stayed in Puglia actually for for six weeks, and since then it's one of my my desires to come back. And this was a brilliant opportunity. I have listened that you, as a philosopher, will bring with you a lot of things, a lot of important experience, and uh, as a uh, as a tourist here. Uh, what you will bring with you? <laughs> <laughs> you? You should not see my luggage. It's just way too much. I think I bought half of the country. I have at least three liters of olive oil. I have uh, pane. I have uh, cheeses of all kinds. Beautiful, beautiful things. And okay. all my friends will love it. <laughs> We are waiting for you <laughs> very <laughs> Thank soon. Thank you so much. Grazie, you so much. Grazie, Philip.